Hey, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and in this Closers Copy tutorial, we're going to look at how to build a framework using Closers Copy's Custom Framework Builder. Now, I do have a previous tutorial on how to build custom frameworks, but it's a little bit outdated because uh, I believe the Framework Builder has changed since I made it. So uh, I wanted to make a new one to kind of go over the updated uh, framework builder and also because I actually have a slightly new way of doing things when I build frameworks uh, so I'm going to show you that as well and so basically a framework uh, in closers copy is what most AI writing tools would call a template and a template or a framework in AI writing is basically a pattern that you can get the AI to follow so that it'll give you a fairly predictable output and so to, for today's example, just so that, so that I don't have to type a lot so I can have short samples and it'll be quick to make, uh, I'm going to create a push notification generator. So I'm going to create a framework uh, or an AI template where all I have to put in is the name of the piece of content that I want to promote with a push notification and I'm going to get back uh, a push notification title and the push notification uh, main message. All right, so let's do that. Um, so there's, there's kind of two ways that you can start a framework. You can either start it with just three hashtags and then start building your, uh, your input and your samples beneath that, or you can start it with an instruction. Um, so it, I could do something like uh, um, write, uh, Convert, oops, write a conversion optimized push notification. That's not how you spell that. Title and message for the desired, uh, for the content mentioned. Something like that. Um, so I can do it with or without that, but we'll just leave that there for now so that we can see how it works and maybe we'll remove it at the end and see if it works any differently. And um, so then once I have that, then I put my three hashtags and again, you can just start with the three hashtags um, without the instruction, but it's kind of nice to have the instruction as well. And then uh, what we start with is what we want our inputs to be. And this is kind of not the way you want to think about it. The way you want to think about it is what do you want your output to be? And then you're going to create uh, a sample of that. And then you can figure out what you want your inputs to be to create those outputs. But since I already know um, what I want, I'm just going to do it sequentially. And so I'm going to start with the inputs. So again, the input is going to be the title of a piece of content. So I'm going to put content title colon. And then um, let's see what's... Uh, how to make money on ClickBank in 2022. That's uh, an article on my blog. It's That's not the exact title, but something like that. Um, and then we'll have um, push notification title, oops, title, best way to make money on Clickbank and maybe we'll actually go with three best ways to make money on Clickbank we want to keep this nice and short and uh, be really have, have it really have like a really high click-through rate and then we'll say push and I can really can't type today notification message and this needs to be something like less than 160 characters. Uh, it's, it's something like the length of a tweet, but I usually make them really, really uh, short anyways, because it's just easier that way. And it, that way it all, all the information actually shows up. And so we'll say, I want to learn how to make money with affiliate marketing on ClickBank. Tap here to read my full guide, and that'll be it. So that's um, basically in this sample, 
uh, the content title is the input and then the notification title and the notification message are the desired output. So now I'm gonna, since that's the end of my sample, I'm gonna put three more hashtags and I'm gonna put content title and we'll do another, uh, what's another article that I have on my blog? Um, seven steps to finding profitable affiliate marketing niches. And then I, I certainly could uh, create and it'll work better if I have multiple samples, but just to kind of show you how this can work with only one sample, I'm gonna pull out uh, the long form tool now. And the traditional way to do this, the way that most people do it, the way that I was kind of taught to do it by Nico and Aura and people who were using Closure Copy before me, which isn't that many people. I, I'm one of the earlier adopters of this tool, but you can highlight it and then hit Control Q or right click and go to expand. And if you do that, uh, let's just do that really quickly it will uh, hopefully follow the pattern and write us um, an output of a push notification title and a push notification message. And so I mean, the four best niches to start affiliate marketing business. Business, oh, here we have, this is on the wrong line. Push notification message, learn how to, you, you can use affiliate marketing to start your own online business and find the best niche to start with. So it's not, it's not a great output, but it is an output that follows the pattern. And, but the way that I've been liking to do this more recently is actually with long form and you just do it the exact same way. But the reason I like long form is that you can adapt the creativity, which you can't do with uh, expand and you can adapt the length, which you also can't do with expand. So I'm actually gonna make this really short because it's a push notification. And then we'll just, you just have to put the cursor at the end and hit right for me. And from there, it basically works the exact same way. Um, and so this is uh, also when you use when you use long form, it has a longer look back. It can it can look at more text than when you use expand. So there's a number of reasons why I like using long form for this particular purpose more than using the expand feature at this point. Um, it does seem to be taking a little bit longer. And then that's the other thing is that you get multiple outputs and you get them over here. So here we have seven ways to find profitable affiliate marketing niches. Message want to learn. Okay, so I made it too short. I made the output too short, so we'll make it a little bit longer. And we'll try again. And but this, that just kind of shows how much you can fine tune it this way. Like you can really get fairly granular about how much how much text you want it to use and how much. Okay, so it's that one didn't work, but this one push notification title. Three best ways to make money on. Clickbank, okay, that, that one didn't work. <laughs> Seven best ways to find affiliate marketing niches. Find out how to find profitable affiliate marketing niches. Okay, so um, it's, it's obviously it's not doing great yet, but I, like I said, it's gonna work better when we have more samples. So I'm gonna turn this one into another working sample. So we have content title, seven steps to finding profitable affiliate mar marketing niches. Seven steps to nailing your affiliate marketing niche and then push notification message find out how that's let's say discover how to find profitable affiliate marketing niches before you try to start promoting products tap here for more info. And the more I include a call to action at the end like that, the more it's gonna follow the pattern and do that as well. So I add three more hashtags and I'm gonna add another content title. This is my input. So let's see what's another article on my blog. Um, uh, it's something like 17 best ways, uh, 17 ways to make money online in Canada and we'll just we'll try um, oops right I shouldn't do that uh, we'll try um, expand first just to see how it works and again it's just like this works but it's uh, you, you don't get your 
uh, you know, your uh, creativity and your length controls this way. Okay, so what did it write for us? Push notification title, 16 ways to make money online in Canada. So it just changed the number, that's not very good. How to make money online from home in Canada. Find out the best ways to work online, what website design, you know, that, that's actually not bad. But let's just try it again with, um, with long form now. See how long form does now that it has two samples instead of just one. Title, how to make money online in Canada. Message, discover 17 ways to make money online in Canada. Tap here to learn more. So that one's actually quite good. Uh, and it follows my pattern almost perfectly. Um, but I want to say 17 best ways. And we'll just remove this part so that it's a little bit different. Discover 17 ways to make money online in Canada. Tap here to learn more. Discover oops, the best. 17 ways to make money online in Canada. Tap here to learn more. Okay, so that's good. Um, so now we have three samples and we're about ready to put this into the framework builder. Um, so what I'm going to do is I will uh, copy this. Hit control C and then I'm going to come to frameworks here on the left side and then get right out of, oops, get out of here, go to the library, and then I'm gonna to go to new, and then I'm just gonna paste my framework text right in there. I'm gonna give it a name, so we'll call it a push notification generator. Uh, I'm not sure what to call this. So I'm just gonna put it in web content. I usually like to set my creativity to 40 for most things. Um, length, we'll put it at 200, which I think should be a good amount. Uh, it can be order number one. Description is going to be input a content title and output push notification title and message and then so we have our the content of it in here and then uh, input one is like the placeholder for where your input will go so uh, right there I will put um, content title and then space and then input one so that way whatever I input into the framework is going to go right here and it's going to complete the pattern for me. And then you select your instruction language, I want English, and, uh, and then you can put a sample in here, or an example rather. Um, and to do that, you, you do input one, colon, and then without a space, you put your sample. So what's, a, what's another good article from my blog? Um, we'll say, uh, Five best lead generation courses for freelancers 2022. Okay, and then I just need to hit save. Oh, what's this? The length must be between 400 and 3000. Oh, I know what it was, it was this. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't, wasn't any of this stuff, it was because I put I put a I put the length below 400. That was really silly of me. Um, okay, input input content title output push notification data. Okay, and then again, put my example in input one colon. Um, what did I use as my sample? <laughs> um, Okay, well, we'll use this one because now I know I don't need this. So we'll use that there. We'll get rid of this. Now we should be good. Okay, so now we have our push notification generator right here. 
So I can open this and then I can click on use example and it's going to load my example in there and then I can just say write for me. And now the framework works in the actual uh, framework tool which makes it a lot easier to work with and uh, just makes it so that you can kind of play around with it a lot easier and you get the outputs the same way as you get them when you do it with long form over here. So here we have the seven best AI content creation tools. Discover the best seven content creation tools for writers and marketers. Tap here to read more. So now you can see it's following the pattern really well. It's improvising a little bit and uh, you know giving some different ideas and it's using the call to action in most cases. Uh, so there we go. Now we've got a push notification generator and that is how you create a custom framework also known as an AI template in Closer's copy. Hope you found that valuable and I will catch you in the next video.